A lot of speculation, but no official word just yet. The New York Times identifies the author of this piece as a senior official in the Trump administration. There has been a lot of speculation, particularly online, on Twitter, places like that. People harping on specific words to try and identify who authored this op-ed. The vice president's deputy chief of staff seemed to address some of that speculation, tweeting this morning. The vice president puts his name on his op-eds. The New York Times should be ashamed, and so should the person who wrote the false, illogical, and gutless op-ed. Our office is above such amateur acts. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo is in India, but he's weighing in on this as well. I find the media's uh, efforts in this regard to undermine this administration incredibly disturbing. And, and I, I'll answer your other question directly, because I know someone will say, gosh, you didn't answer the question. It's not mine. The president is questioning whether or not the source exists and says if they do, the Times must, for national security purposes, turn him or her over to the government. On Capitol Hill, lawmakers on the left and right agree with the president in part. They want to know who wrote this, but they want to know for different reasons. All these people surrounding the president who are saving this country from the president should just step up. Put their names uh, out there. This man is a coward. If, it, if it's a man or woman, or if it is, if isn't, is it really someone? I agree with the president. I think it is a real problem that they should come forward and say who this person is. Now remember, a senior administration official is not necessarily someone who works at the White House every day. There are a number of federal agencies all across Washington D.C., and there are political appointees in all of them, from the VA to the EPA. Sandra. Ellison, what are some of the specific claims in this Times op-ed? A big one is that the president lacks morals. Uh, this author claims that there's somewhat of a resistance among many senior uh, officials within this administration who, in their words, are working diligently from within to frustrate parts of President Trump's agenda and his worst inclinations. The unnamed author says that they and other like-minded individuals want the administration to succeed and think that many of its policies have already made America safer and more prosperous, but that those successes have come despite, not because of, the president's leadership style, which is impetuous, adversarial, petty, and ineffective.